Welcome to Earl Stewart on Cars. It's amazing the variation between what's normal and what's not normal when it comes to burning oil. If you look at the specifications for every manufacturer, they give themselves quite a leeway. Uh, burning oil is not necessarily a bad thing. You're supposed to burn oil. And uh, half a quart between oil changes or even a quart between oil changes is certainly not anything to be worried about. The exact same make model car is not exactly the same car uh, because there's something called tolerances, engine tolerances. And every car is manufactured within fairly tight tolerances today. But in fact, today's engine tolerances are very tight. But there's still a variation. In other words, you can have two cars side by side. They're the exact same make and model and year. And the tolerances will vary. And the variance between those engine tolerances will dictate how much oil is burned. If you're lucky, you know, you have a really high tolerance, tight tolerance a car, it'll burn less oil. If you have one that's on the other side of the tolerances, and these are acceptable tolerances, by the way. These are to be expected, and the manufacturers know about it, and you know about it now, because I'm telling you, if it's on the lower side of the tolerances, meaning a wider tolerance, then you're going to burn more oil. And sometimes it, the tolerance can cause a, a difference of quite a bit, two or three quarts of oil. You just call it the luck of the draw. I mean, I'm, you know, I know this sounds strange, but the fact of the matter is uh, the exact same car you're making model, as I said, can burn anywhere from a half a quart to maybe two quarts or three quarts uh, of oil between oil changes, and it's within acceptable tolerances. Now, the good news is that most of the cars are toward the tighter end of the tolerance, but every now and then you get a car or a truck that burns more oil than another one. Now, you should take it into the dealer and let the dealer be sure you're measuring your oil correctly and it should be measured at the, the same way every time. In other words, if you're going to measure the oil when your engine's cold and when you're comparing the, the previous 5,000 miles, be sure the engine's cold. Uh, ideally, you should really start the engine up let it idle for a few minutes, and then measure the oil. That's the best way to do it, and do it exactly that way every period when you want to measure it. Uh, or take it into your dealer, and that way, or the service department, and be sure that they measure the oil for you, and they know enough to measure it the same way each time. That way you find out if you're really burning too much oil. Most people that are worried that they're burning too much oil aren't. They think they are, and they're comparing it maybe with their previous car or with a friend's car. Maybe he's got, they got the same car. I hear that sometimes. My friend's got a certain model, ear make car. I've got the same one. How come he burns less oil than I do? Well, it's kind of like asking, why does he get better gas mileage? I mean, something beyond your control in nine times out of ten. But on that tenth time, you want to be sure that it is within tolerance because Burning oil beyond specifications is a very serious thing, which could create a serious engine problem. You don't even need to top off your oil. You're having a full crankcase versus a, a crankcase that's a half a quart low makes no difference to your engine. Your engine is built so that uh, to anticipate that it's going to burn oil. All engines burn oil. You talk to somebody and say, my car never burns any oil then he's got a serious problem with his car because his car is supposed to burn oil. Topping off, uh, if they say they're going to top your oil off for you at no charge, that's exactly right. That's a way to get you in the door, just like the dealers do. You read a newspaper, uh, you uh, see on television, oil change, uh, fourteen ninety five. Well, it costs the dealer more than $14.95 to change the oil. So if they're going to charge you $14.95, you can bet there's something in it for them. That's to get you in the door, get your car up on a lift, and go around the car with a fine tooth comb until they find something that they can sell you. Now, that's not to say that it's not something you may need, but I, I'd be leery of that. If you've got a, a fairly late model car, these cars are fairly reliable. You don't need to put it up on the lift every 3,000 miles and go over it with a fine tooth comb until you find something. Because guess what? The mechanics paid on commission, the service advisor, you know, they call themselves advisors, uh, sometimes they call themselves assistant service managers. They're salesmen. The person that greets you in the service drive when you come into a service department, he's a salesman. The technician that works on your car is really a salesman because he's paid a percent of the profit of the sales revenue 
that he generates. The more sales, the more profit, the more the mechanic makes, the technician, the more the service advisor makes, the more the service manager makes, the more the, more the, the owner of the company makes. So that's why they want to top your oil off for you and get you in the door. 